Hello, my name is Evgenia Pali and I'm the product manager on Embrenelux in Synology. Welcome to our webinar in which we will discuss Synology's video analytics solution with artificial intelligence technologies that can be used during the COVID situation that we are currently living in. Today we are going to talk about the needs of the surveillance market, what artificial intelligence in surveillance means, and what Synology has to propose in response to nowadays challenges. And to start with, what are the needs of the market of surveillance? What do the users actually look for? The basic usage of surveillance is quite evident. We use it to detect unusual events or crimes. For example, when there is a stranger that comes to the territory to record a face of a robber for future investigation or to watch over your car on the parking lot. And we want to know at what time the event took place and see the people that were involved. And why it is important to detect such events? Of course, in order to protect assets and provide security for people at home, public places, business environment, so your employees, clients, and family, etc. Another important thing is that it's much better when you have the possibility not just to record the events, but also to quickly react and take necessary actions as well as being able to work with the footage afterwards in a smart way. On the other hand, it's not only about watching over the crimes and some events, but also you may need to monitor the people flow, for example, to, avo to avoid crowds in the shops due to coronavirus restrictions. Among other consumer needs, we can highlight that it's important to be informed at any time of the event that could endanger the security of goods or people, such as receive instant notifications in the live view when the event is triggered, as well as email or mobile notification, which will help you uh, keep an eye on the, um, on the actions in real life. For example, if there is a movement detected uh, during the night time in your uh, warehouse, you will be immediately informed. In addition to this, we also want to monitor uh, the monitoring to be continuous and non-interrupted in order to be able to guarantee the security. So setting up a video surveillance solution adapted to your on-site environment will be important, but it will be even better if you can do it with an economical and reliable solution. After all, it's also important to think about the storage of the video data. What features and solutions are we looking for to be able to respond to these needs? What we want is a solution that would be able to provide us with the permanent monitoring and give us the possibility of deploying it on several sites. At the same time, the solution should have no recurring fees and let us control the deployment costs. And obviously, the more IP cameras the solution would be compatible with, the better for us, because we can be more flexible. It's related not only to the compatibility with different camera models, but also with support of the cameras that have some smart features for specific usage needs. So th this, this is what we expect from our surveillance solution to be. Um, and this is where it's interesting to discuss the artificial intelligence, because indeed it will greatly help meet your needs. You will now understand why. Let's take a look at the research made by the market analysis company Market Research Future. We can clearly see how the global machine learning market is evolving. Machine learning is an AI technology that allows computers to learn from the data in order to perform a task without having been explicitly programmed to perform this specific task. And in this study, we can see that the machine learning market is continuously growing year after year at a very high growth rate. Uh, and it's not only on the hardware level, but also software and of course services that are based on machine learning. The studies also show that enterprises are massively adopting AI applications. And on the slide, you can see the most popular ones. I would like to draw your attention to the face detection and recognition feature that can be used in surveillance since it's the topic of the webinar today, you can notice it was practically not used in 2018, whereas in 2019 is among the top used AI applications. 
For the rest, you can also compare the numbers with 2018 and see how rapidly the usage of AI applications expanded in one year. So we can estimate that this is the trend for the coming years and we can expect the growth to continue. Researchers also uh, show that uh, COVID, that COVID pandemic will stimulate the growth of AI as the companies are encouraged to boost their R&D investments in AI um, uh, applications. Um, so you may wonder why there is such a success around artificial intelligence applications and services. The answer is the, are, is in the two clear points. It allows to search effectively and better focus your attention. Indeed, deploying a traditional video surveillance system is not effective enough for many use cases. And since nowadays technologies provide possibilities of enhancing the process and the result of surveillance, it is smart to look into the direction of AI. When the personnel works with video data, it's important to have the possibility to search through the data smartly and quickly, eliminating the human factor. Sometimes cameras are underused and there is insufficient personnel to deal with the information. It often happens that there is no one to view the images or only one person responsible for viewing multiple video surveillance screens at the same time or even that the analysis of the event is, um, is done after that the event of a crime or an accident takes, takes place. So overall, AI can increase the safety, quality and speed of work. And this reflects AI's ability to identify uh, patterns in data more effectively than traditional rule-based software. And if we now turn this to the surveillance point of view, let's see the key benefits that introduction of AI to surveillance can bring. AI surveillance indeed offers us new possibilities while working with video data. We can monitor more images and surveillance systems. I think that those of you who have experience in video surveillance infrastructure have already seen that we have more and more images to analyze. And it's not easy to be informed of everything and monitor what is important. Moreover, thanks to machine learning, the algorithms of AI will improve their precision based on previous cases, therefore continuously progressing the quality and accuracy of the results. The more different cases there are, the more precise the algorithms will be. Finally, additional expenses will not be significant because of the already operational camera fleets. The investment uh, will have to be mainly done in video surveillance management server. Therefore, Synology uh, introduced these features to our surveillance station, and we have seen the needs from the market, and we understand that these challenges represent opportunities for us as well for development of something new and improving the workflow in different areas. As many of you already know, Surveillance Station is our reliable and intuitive system for businesses and home users that offer intelligent video surveillance and management tool. There are several smart features that are supported, and let's now see how users can benefit from using this solution during the pandemic period, as well as, of course, in everyday life outside the COVID context. We spoke about the needs of monitoring people. This need can be uh, treated by the people counting feature integrated to our surveillance station. As you can guess from its name, this feature allows you to count the number of people that enter and exit the defined territory. And you can imagine that this feature is something essential during the pandemic as it allows to control the number of people that are in the same place at the same time. There is also a feature called crowd detection to control the maximum number of people that stay in place to avoid overcrowding by synchronizing cameras set in different entrances. For example, you for sure have seen the lines outside the shops in front of the entrances with people waiting outside because of the limited number of people that can be indoors at the same time. It's much easier to do it with our surveillance system uh, because it will accurately count how many people entered and how many of them left. 
It's also convenient to display the current number of people inside the shop on the screen in front of the store so that the customers could be informed about the crowd and for their security come back at another time when they would feel more comfortable avoiding contact with too many people. Let's see other examples where this feature can be used for other purposes than COVID context. There are actually many scenarios that come in mind when we think about the places where counting people can be useful. Public libraries or museums can use it for attendance statistics to secure funding, as well as shopping venues can evaluate the number of visitors in order to attract advertising. Obviously, the more visitors are in the shopping center, the more interesting it is to advertise there because of the higher impression rate. Also, public places can benefit from real-time analysis of visitors and avoid overcrowding, uh, which we have discussed a moment ago. Uh, for example, for security reasons, there is a defined maximum number of people in stadiums and concert halls. So with the people counting feature, it will be easy to control the people flow during events. Again, it's very practical to avoid manual work and have a real picture because our system will also show how many people left the territory. Apart from that, counting people can be used for marketing purposes by retail stores to prove the effectiveness of the promotional activities, saying whether some activity attracted more visitors than usually, which resulted in increased sales. Finally, stores also detect the customer patterns, at what time the number of visitors is at its peak, in order to adjust some services, opening hours and staff allocation. Um, <clears throat> this can also help controlling the costs because during the hours that are not very busy, less personnel can be involved. The response to all of these needs we just mentioned is therefore integrated into surveillance station via the people counting functionality. And indeed, the personnel dedicated to security can be notified when the limits of the authorized persons is reached. There is also real-time information on the total number of people inside the building, as well as information on people entering and leaving the premises. We can also proudly say that the detection accuracy of people counting reaches 97%, and thanks to that, the false alarms are minimized and security personnel can respond to events more efficiently. You can see uh, on the video, on this slide, uh, even when there are two person, two people crossing the line at the same time, uh, side by side, the system will still accurately recognize each of them. Finally, you will have the possibility of generating statistical reports which will provide you with information that can, that can be used to adjust the number of employees, uh, as we mentioned, according to the demand on site. As I said, people counting is on top of actuality at this moment. However, in addition to detecting people, we can also detect faces. And this is another smart feature that is also important nowadays. This feature allows to detect and recognize people's faces, and this can also be useful during coronavirus. For example, if it allows to detect if um, a face is covered with a mask or not, which can be helpful in stores when the customer without a mask, um, a medical mask comes in, or in a hospital. Let's see other examples. This feature can be used to enhance the security of apartment complexes, having kind of a whitelist of employees, residents or uh, authorized people and trigger the alarm, uh, the alarm when a stranger is detected. So th this can be used at home, for example, again, on the parking lot or in the professional usage, monitoring the access to the office. It can also be used to anonymously record faces of people who pass by, but in case of an unwanted event, provide a footage that can be smartly analyzed for investigation. Another example of a scenario is having a VIP list for guests and uh, quickly react when an imp important person comes in. 
Stores and banks can benefit from faces recording in order to prevent repeated robberies. If you or your client have, uh, for example, a shop, you probably experienced having to deal with thefts and robbery prevention. Um, after the first event, you can use the footage to register the faces of the robbers to the database. And when the same people come again, you can immediately keep an eye on them and pay special attention. It is also possible to control who accessed warehouses or vaults, and you can monitor if employees that are not in the authorized list try to access it. And again, it's possible to promptly detect important customers and provide uh, personalized experience in luxury retail segment. It is worth mentioning that uh, face recognition feature remains effective even in the crowd or uh, high traffic areas. So you don't have to worry that this feature can, uh, these features are possible only when there is one person in the sight of a camera. Indeed, the database can contain up to 10,000 profiles and it's possible to recognize up to 25 faces per frame per camera, which means 100 faces per system with four cameras or analysis tasks. You can see on this video how Synology employees are detected, recognized, and the results are shown on the panel on the right-hand side, showing the name of the person the snapshot um, and the snapshot of the person that was just passing by at the moment. Speaking about the database feature, uh, I would like to highlight here some possibilities as well. Within the detected faces, it's possible to create a profile of a person using their image uh, from the detection results or upload a photo that would be assigned to the person. It's also possible to set the similarity threshold for better detection results. When searching through the results, you can apply different filters, such as a camera or a task, a date or time of the event, or filter by type of a triggered event. Let me show you um, a demo video. You can see here a database with profiles of Synology's headquarters employees you can search by the name of a person and you will see the detection results. You can also select a person and display all the snapshots associated with this profile. You can then filter by a type of event. For example, display only the unauthorized uh, detected people. You can select an unknown person and create a profile using the snapshot. It will appeal now. Yes, select uh, creating a profile. We can assign a name to the person. And if needed, we can add a person to a group. Naturally, people's appearance change with time not only due to aging, but also a person can start wearing glasses or a beard or change a haircut. And the software will also propose you to up, uh, update old profile pictures with recently taken snapshots in order to increase the accuracy of recognition. If we come back to the COVID environment, face recognition feature can help to detect if there is a mask on a face. It works actually both ways if there is a mask or uh, if there is no mask. As I mentioned before, it can help immediately react to a person who doesn't wear a medical mask in a hospital or in a store and take necessary actions. And if we speak about other examples, when detecting a mask can be useful to react uh, when when the, uh, detecting a mask would be useful is to uh, detect a robber, for instance, in a bank, because usually the robbers wear um, a mask and trigger the event, uh, the alert uh, for the bank security personnel. Let's watch another video. You can set up a task to detect a covered face As you can see, the task list 
and we can also combine it with other alert criteria. We can then go to the alert panel and wait for someone to show up. You can see now a person who is wearing a mask and the system puts a little blue icon to show that the person has a face covered, as you can see here, this little blue sign. Finally, I would like to present uh, to you the recently introduced intelligent feature that can also fit to the pandemic challenges. And this is the support of thermal cameras and the possibility to trigger the events with them in our surveillance system. With this feature, the users are able to quickly identify high or low if needed temperature and receive notifications about it when the event is triggered. It is a convenient solution for places where it is important to control the temperature of people, but difficult or not possible to check every person individually. Probably you could see it in the airports when they are used the thermal cameras in order to scan the people, uh, the people flow and uh, detect people who can represent risk for others. So Synology supports this feature too. Otherwise, it can also be used in a business center to stop employees with high temperatures from entering the building and exposing others to a potential risk. And apart from that, thermal cameras are used in our everyday life to immediately react to temperature cha changes, um, for example, in the office or a warehouse to monitor if a server overheats and it can also help preventing a fire. In Surveillance Station version 8.2.8, .8, we have integrated Dahua and Hikvision thermal cameras for the response to the COVID-19 challenges. When we add the same second camera in IPCAM and select the video channel 2, the thermal camera will not occupy another license. We know that you are watching this webinar from different countries, so for this and other features, we recommend you to check your local laws to be able uh, to use this um, type of cameras. But in any case, you know that Synology can support them. And to conclude, to sum up, facial recognition, people counting, thermal cameras, and other additional video analysis capabilities enable our users to deploy a more intelligent solution for a safer environment. In response to all of the above mentioned needs and benefits, we propose our users to discover our, our deep learning network video recorder with deep learning based algorithms designed for advanced AI powered video analytics on premises. Surveillance Station is available on all our NAS devices, but the advanced AI features that we have just seen are available only on DVA3221. Let's see more in detail about the characteristics of this model. DVA3221 represents a server-side on-premises video analytics solution, which also means you have the freedom from privacy concerns because you are the, in charge of your data. It is the solution with inbuilt video analytics with our specially developed software, but it, uh, it is also a storage device. DVA supports a rich range of NAS applications, such as our solutions for backup, file sharing, and synchronization. And there are no recurring fees required for future software updates. We also provide um, administrator's guides available on our website for your convenience so you can download them. Let's take now a closer look at the specs. DVA3221 is equipped with the Intel Atom quad-core processor and NDVA graphic card that makes inbuilt video analysis possible. There are 8 GB of RAM that can be expanded up to 32. It can run six analytical tasks simultaneously with the maximum of 32 IP cameras. Speaking about the licenses, unlike uh, our other NAS devices, DVA3221 comes with eight free licenses by default. 
There are four bays that can fit up to 64 terabytes of storage that can be expanded with expansion units up to 224 terabytes. More specs can be found on the product page on our website, so don't hesitate to consult it if you need more details. And what can be a better way to present you our solutions um, by showing you the real life cases of our customers who trusted Synology and shared their stories. I would like to name you now a couple of companies that deploy our surveillance solutions and the concept proved to be efficient. The first case that I want to present is Taipei Underground Shopping Mall. Station Front Metro Mall is structurally connected to Taipei Main Station that serves a large number of citizens and tourists. There are over 50 stores and 50 small uh, booths available for recreation and shopping. And for the safety of visitors, 122 IP cameras are installed. And the problem was that the traditional analog cameras with digital video recorders made it difficult to play back uh, the footage and required someone to handle it in person, which of course was very time consuming and exposed to human mistake. For easier management, they have deployed Synology surveillance station. The new deployment includes four recording servers, four Synology visual stations and 122 IP cameras. To count the number of people um, at the main entrances of the mall, they deploy DVA 3219. Based on the automated people flow report, they can make better managerial decisions, such as estimating billboard fees and changing guard patrol schedules. Thus, the Synology uh, system provides them, their management team with actionable insights rather than just recording and playback. The second illustration of the real-life case with Synology Surveillance Station is presented by Chausson Matériaux. It is a very big and known company in France, a market leader in the construction materials industry, and it has over 350 stores in France. For many years, their stores were suffering from thefts during nights and weekends, and uh, this was causing huge financial loss for them. Traditional security methods were not effective, and they decided to deploy a more flexible and centralized solution, which was Synology. In their headquarters, they installed Synology RS180017 Access Plus as their host server in the C uh, CMS infrastructure. And it receives all the camera streams from 350 stores all over France. Each NAS installed in their store, stores is managed as a CMS recording server. These units are directly connected to 6 to 8 IP cameras, recording in full HD and 12 frames per second with motion detection configuration. The recording is scheduled 24 seven, providing a continuous and full monitoring of their entire business. They also added DVA 3219 uh, for their setup to even more enhance the security with the motion detection feature that is also set 24-7. As a result, they have decreased the response time and the number of thefts in general. I hope that after this presentation and after other webinars that we did, you have a good picture of our solutions. But of course, our team is always available to assist you for pre-sales discussions uh, for projects and ready to answer all your questions regarding the products for you, for your clients, so feel free to reach out to us. We also propose a test and buy program with a selection of models so that you could try Synology products in real life deployment for free during 30 days before taking a decision of purchasing a solution. All information is available on our website, so you can read more about the program there. Moreover, to cover the enterprise deployment, we provide on-site support with a service provider, allowing to choose among flexible options such as next business day, same business day, or same day 24-7, so you are sure that technical support will be provided in response to your needs. 
If you want to have further information about any of the mentioned services, you can always contact us directly via the email address that you can see on the screen or via contact us form on our website. And this is all that was planned for today. We saw how artificial intelligence can be used in surveillance and especially during the pandemic period. We saw the smart possibilities offered by Surveillance Station and our DVA 3221. I hope that you found this webinar helpful and I would like to thank you for your participation. The chat will still be available for 15 more minutes so we can continue with your questions. And if your question is too big and require uh, discussion, please send them to us to the uh, email address that you can see on the screen. Thank you.